Hi everyone, Randy Basterash here and in today's video I'm going to cover part two of what goes into creating an effective hypnosis suggestion script. Now I've also created a brand new script that you can have that I'm including in this video that covers all the points that we spoke about in video five. So for those of you who are following along, go ahead and get your notepad, have a seat, relax and let's get started. So this is video six of our seven part hypnosis session writing program. Just as a refresher, in these videos I'm going to show you how to write each part of a five part hypnosis session to make it as powerful and as effective as possible. Those of you that are following along, you're encouraged to write your own scripts each week as we go along and submit them to us for publishing on the final week. By now, if you are following along, you should have created your induction, your deepener, your depth test, and possibly even started on your suggestion script. If not, we'll be doing that today. But remember, you can participate anytime right up till we're finished, which is week, uh, excuse me, video seven, which will be the next one. Just look at any of our past videos, starting with video one, and follow along to get caught up. Now, once you've created all your scripts in the last lesson, I'm going to have a link in the description below for a form that you'll need to fill out, and you submit that with your scripts so we can have your permission to publish them. So please hang on to all your scripts until you get that form in the last lesson and send them in with the form. Otherwise, I won't be able to use the scripts and you'll have wasted a lot of time, okay? So once you submit all the scripts and we collect them and we reviewed them, we're gonna publish all of them that make the cut into a PDF hypnosis manual and we're gonna send everyone who participated a copy of the manual. Yes, and that means you'll be a published author. So let's get started with lesson six. Now in the last lesson, I covered all the 12 steps required to create a very effective script. So there's 12 steps, you don't have to put every one of them, but look at them as a guideline to try to include as many of those as possible to make it more effective than it would normally be. Now, I went ahead and wrote one this morning according to those steps, and I wanted to write one on something that I wasn't really familiar with, so it would be kind of like a, a, uh, a good example for you to see how the process works. So I decided to write one on gambling addiction. Now, I don't know much about gambling addiction, uh, addiction because in my whole life I've never even bought a lottery ticket. Okay, so when it comes to gambling, I'm kind of clueless. Another reason why I chose gambling addiction, besides not knowing much about gambling, is that I actually had a student call this week and ask me if I had anything on gambling. So since we didn't, I figured, hey, this is a good opportunity. And like I said, I'm going to be doing it from scratch, just like many of you probably will be. So here's how it works. Step number one, what I did was I went online and I did research. I used the search term on Google of gambling addiction first, saw what they had available. Overcoming gambling was another title I used and then gambling addiction treatment. Now there was quite a bit, I didn't look just at one site, I looked at quite a few of them. And as I was doing them, I was entering all the information that I thought was rev uh, relevant, relevant, okay, including my own thoughts onto a mind map. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Number three, after that, I wrote my own script, keeping in mind the 12 tips we spoke about in the last lesson to make it effective. So I'll show you the script in a moment. And here's what I did. I'm going to try to put this up here so you can see it. And I want to make sure you can see it. Okay. So here's, here's the mind map I did. You can see right there in the middle. I wish I had a pointer or something. Oh, here we go. Here's a pointer. Right there in the middle, I had gambling addiction, and then I went off into the reasons, the types of gambling addiction, uh, why people gamble, 
uh, you know, the risk being high, all this kind of thing here. And over here, you can see you got a little bubble that said overcoming gambling. And that's where most of my scripts came from. Oops, right over here on this side here. Okay, so overcoming uh, there's the boredom when people get bored. They start thinking of excitement. There's uh, all these uh, Taking one day at a time. Uh, so to see there's a lot of different uh, areas here. I found and Going all the way down there sabotaging triggers and when people, you know, what sabotages them, well, when events are coming up, such as uh, maybe sporting events are coming, and, you know, they're thinking of, oh, gee, the, you know, here, uh, it's the Super Bowl. There's a lot of gambling going on with the Super Bowl, or uh, their friends are going to races. Uh, you know, so there's so many different kind of triggers. And what I did was once I had that all together, I put together a script. And what we're going to do is I'm not going to... I'm going to read the script to you, okay, but I'm not going to do it like I would normally do it as if I was going to hypnotize you. I mean, if it was just a confidence or a relaxation script, I would. But since it's a gambling addiction script, I don't want to trigger anything in your head to make you think that you're a gambler. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you rather than, uh, uh, re you know, do it, uh, hypnotize you with it. All right. So here it is, and I'm actually posting it too. Overcoming gambling addiction. You have come to this deep relaxed place because you wish to remain in control of your actions and urges. And the best way to do that is to be relaxed. You've taken the first important step of being aware of your emotions and reactions associated with gambling. And from now on, you are in complete control. You take it one day at a time and realize that right now everything is great as it should be let yesterday go it's over today now is what matters and today you are in control and you feel great you practice gratitude by thinking of what you're grateful for think of it now what are you grateful for the most in your life. Think of it and commit it to your memory. Now I would pause a little bit here just so they have time to think of it. And then what else are you grateful for? The three dots by the way are pause, okay? Think of another. Use your imagination. Imagine the details and make it as real as can be. And one more time, think of one more thing you're grateful for. Use your imagination. See it. Feel it. Be excited about it. You can reflect on these three things when you're bored or in need of a pick-me-up. You can change or add to the three anytime you like. But you practice this gratitude exercise often. You are a winner. You're relaxed and you're in control. Think of how great it feels to be a winner. Imagine yourself standing on the winner's block like they do at the Olympics. That's you. That's what you deserve for being in control. Imagine it and feel great about it. You are in control of your emotions and actions. Whenever you feel like you need additional help in the future, you can simply take three deep breaths and immediately return to this relaxed state that you're in right now. Let's practice that so you're comfortable with it. Take your first deep breath and exhale. And a second one. And exhale. And now a third one as you hold it. And exhale and relax. You feel wonderful. You feel in control. 
you feel happy and proud of your accomplishment of overcoming and of being a true winner, a success. So that's my script. I hope you enjoy it. You can use it if you have need for it. And now it's your turn to create one. So think of what topic you want to write your script on. Do you already have all the knowledge that you require to write it? If not, do a little research like I did for mine. If you like, go ahead and do a mind map or what I call a mind dump where you're getting all the information you have and putting it all together on a sheet so you can have it all there for yourself. I find that's a lot easier for me to make a script after because I'm not really missing anything. And then create your script. Be sure to follow as many of those 12 tips that we spoke about last week and go ahead and write it. Now just a couple things that I did different in this script is at the end I did what they call a post hypnotic suggestion. You don't have to do that. I usually don't but in this script since it was for an addiction I thought it would be good that if they come into any kind of stress in the future all they have to do is three, take three deep breaths and relax and it goes away because they come back to the relaxation. Now, one of the tips was not to use anything negative. So if you notice, I didn't say you are no longer a gambler. You will not gamble anymore. That's negative. Instead, I kept on saying things like you're in control. You're a winner. You're so I'll say positive things. So keep that in mind when you're making your script. Don't bring up the negative because the subconscious mind does not understand negative. That's what you're trying to eliminate. You're just speaking positive. So go ahead and create your session and once you've done it try it out with someone you know but do your complete session with all the previous parts that you did in the earlier lessons such as the induction the depth test the deepener and then the script so you can get the full experience and see how it really works and oh be sure to let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear how it's working out for you so that's it for this lesson. We really want to make this manual as much of a success as possible. So please share this video with your friends and with as many hypnosis enthusiasts as you know, so we can all benefit from it by having a larger manual and having better scripts. Now remember there's only one lesson left before it's time for you to submit your scripts if you'd like to have them published in the manual and receive a free copy of that manual with everyone's scripts. And keep in mind, every person is submitting five scripts. Their induction, their depth test, their deepener, their script, and the awakening, which we're going to go over in the next lesson. So if there's 10 people, that's 50 scripts. If there's 30 people, okay, that's a lot more. That's 150 scripts that you can be getting free. All you need to do is to make sure you submit yours right after you get the information next week. You'll fill out that form, giving us permission to publish them, and you'll be able to go ahead and publish them and we can get that going. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in video 7 where we work on awakenings and we tie everything together and finish up the program. So until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.